Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a deck profile on Alpha Mons. So this is going to be something that I've been really keen to showcase because it is going to be one of the decks that really focuses on X antibody, but in a very different way because most of the decks out there that focuses on X antibody like All Force Vidramon or Black War Greymon or even something like Hercules Kabaterimon, they utilize alternate versions of themselves, an X antibody version if you must say, and they use that kind of like as a supporting way to supplement their current uh, playstyle. On the other hand, this particular deck here, Alphamon, is actually utilizing Antibody as its own engine in a way. So it's quite interesting because we're not playing any Digimon that have X Antibody within its like bracketed title, but within its traits, it still has the X Antibody. So it's going to be quite interesting. Uh, because this deck, I haven't really had the chance to play too many games with this one. I only had the chance to test it out twice. So I really can't say much about this deck here, but it is going to be something that is very interesting. And I'll give you a bit of a take on what I think could be done to further push this deck towards more prominence out there in the format. But before we get started, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, definitely drop a like, share, comment, and subscribe, uh, particularly if you guys have any more suggestions or ideas on how to improve this deck, please comment them down below. Even show me your builds as well as to how you would build the entire deck so that not only I, but other people out there who want to build this deck can actually get a bit of insight into that as well. But uh, with that being said, let's just begin. So starting off with our Digi Eggs, we're just going to be playing the four copies of our Dorimon here. This is just a really good card that pairs well with this particular deck because this particular deck can actually put Digivolution cards by using its own effects. And to be able to benefit off the Dorimon's inherited effect here is definitely fantastic, drawing you an additional card and maintaining your resources. So next up for level 3s, we're going to be playing here 3 copies of Argamon. Now this one is mainly to search for your Dragonkin cards, because we do play a few Dragonkin specific cards in our deck. But aside from that, it doesn't really do anything else. It's just mainly to search out our Dragonkins, and I felt like this was the most appropriate card. To kind of supplement that, we are technically playing this, which is the Argamon X Antibody. This one, unfortunately, the inherited effect is not going to be utilized. Um, however, it does digivolve zero from Argamon itself, which is nice. Uh, but on play or when digivolving, you can essentially uh, reveal the top three cards of your deck, either add a Greymon or X Antibody in its name, and also a Black Tamer as well to your hand. So I just think it pairs really well and kind of gives you that clean line towards uh, reaching your actual end goal. However, next up we're going to be playing four copies here of Doramon. So Doramon is actually a really important card for this deck. It essentially on play allows you to reveal the top three cards of your deck and add one card with X antibody in its traits and you also add Coda Demoto as well uh, which is going to be your main tamer that supports this particular deck. And of course its inherited ability allows you to gain a memory if you also place one card under the Digivolutions of your Digimon which this deck definitely does. So uh, this is essentially the main card that has to be in the deck. It's the one that's not as flexible as the others where uh, with the other ones you could kind of replace it with any other threes out there but this is the crucial level three that needs to be played in that deck. So on to the level fours we have quite an interesting line here but starting off we're going to be playing four copies of the Raptor Dramon. This here is also a card that has X antibody in its traits which makes it uh, somewhat searchable but its inherited effect is also supporting Alphamon itself, which is uh, essentially what our deck is. At the end of your attack, 
you get to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of 5 or less. That is definitely really nice because you're pretty much going to be playing Alphamon anyway, so to get that as a bonus is definitely uh, something that is uh, well worth adding on to the deck, despite the fact that it is also just a bare vanilla outside of that. However, we are also going to be playing four copies here of uh, Dorogamon, which is supporting it. it is a very interesting card because on your opponent's turn, uh, while you have another Digimon in play with X Antibody in its traits or a card with X Antibody in its traits in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, this actually gets blocker, which um, it's very interesting in terms of the conditions but just giving blocker is going to be uh, quite helpful because most of your cards in this deck are going to have the X Antibody traits anyway. so you're very likely to have blocker um, but its inherited effect is also allowing you to boost your Digimon by 1000 DP which uh, definitely is going to be great for winning those uh, Digi battles out there. Our final two level fours we're playing is also going to be the um, Greymon as well. Greymon is a fantastic card because uh, this is actually searchable with the Argamon, you know, but its inherited effect is mainly the thing we want. Uh, at the end of the opponent's turn, if they didn't attack with a Digimon this turn, you get to draw a card. So it kind of focuses on forcing your opponent to attack. And considering that you have a blocker, it's going to sort of punish them in a way. It's kind of like, uh, if you don't attack, you get to draw a card. But if they attack, you're most likely going to be blocking them anyway, deleting their Digimon. So it's something that I kind of like to add on to kind of like have that control so that your opponent is kind of at your mercy. So as for level fives, we're going to be playing four copies here of Dora Greymon. This is also one of your X antibody cards. When Digivolving, you could actually place a black card with X antibody from your traits from your hand to the bottom of this Digimon's Digivolution cards uh, to prevent effects from deleting it or reducing its DP until the end of your opponent's next turn. This is a really nice card because I have been having issues just dealing with the opponent's uh, yellow decks out there. Particularly, there is this Magnadromon deck, which focuses so much on reducing your DP. So to have this particular effect is definitely very, very helpful uh, in matchups like those. But its inherited effect also gives your uh, X antibody Digimon uh, security attack plus one as well, which is just a great bonus on top of that. Uh, however, on top of that, we're also playing uh, two, four copies here of uh, Grademon. Grademon is a fantastic card, also X antibody and its traits. Uh, when Digivolving, you actually get to just uh, reveal three cards and add one Alphamon and then place an X antibody and its traits among them under this Digimon's uh, Digivolution card. So definitely a really nice card here. And also its inherited ability is at the end of your attack, if this Digimon has Alphamon, then you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon as well. So that's a fantastic uh, effect because let's say you had the Grademon here and you also had the, um, the where is it? Where is the card? So you also had the Raptor Dramon here and Grademon. If you have both of these, you could essentially delete two of your opponent's Digimon just at the end of your attack. That's uh, pretty powerful, you know, so that's that's definitely going to maintain your board presence all the while slowing down your opponent. So yeah, it's great control for the deck. And the final two to level fives we're playing is going to be the uh, Mega Dramon. Uh, Mega Dramon just gives you blocker and well, kind of pairs well with the Greymon. So I feel like this deck just really synergizes well with a lot of the cards I'm adding on here. And uh, yeah, it's just blending so well. And there's a good reason for that. And that is mainly because once we get to Alphamon, I'll kind of uh, go about a few of the weaknesses with this particular deck. All right, so for the level sixes now, obviously this deck is going to be an Alphamon deck. So we're gonna be playing four copies of Alphamon. Uh, I just happen to have one alternate art for it. But uh, Alphamon is our main card. It is an X anti body, well, at least in terms of its traits. However, when Digivolving, you get to place one card with X anti body in its traits from your trash under this Digimon as a Digivolution card. So that's definitely fantastic because depending on what you have in your trash, you can kind of choose whatever you want 
I really like that first effect. That is definitely really powerful. It's the second effect that kind of bothers me in a certain way. So let's go over the second effect. So during your turn, only once per turn, when an effect places a Digivolution card under this Digimon, you get to de-digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon. Being able to de-digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon is definitely fantastic. It slows down their plays, also kind of mitigates that issue of deleting your opponent's Digimon, which might trigger something like an on-deletion effect. But in this case, de-digivolving is one of the best strategies out there, even better than uh, returning cards back to the hand or to the bottom of the deck. This is uh, a great strategy, but by having control as well, using it in conjunction with its first effect, it's fantastic. The only issue I have with this is that it's once per turn. So you're only able to do this once per turn. So no matter how much you can put cards under this card's Digivolution, you can't really do too much else. And it seems like the main thing it does is just when it's put out on play, which is definitely a very slow sort of thing. It's not really doing too much elsewhere once it's already out on the board so i feel like that's one of the weaknesses with this particular deck is that it just doesn't have much of that long game play to it you kind of want to establish control as early as possible your control isn't really that great either by only allowing you to de digivolve once per turn but that being said it's one of the reasons why we're relying so much on the inherited effects of all your other Digimon out there. Now you guys are probably wondering who's supporting Alphamon in this particular deck. Well, the only other cards I'm playing here is uh, Dorogoromon. This card is surprisingly really good with this deck. It is also an ex-antibody card, so it has that synergy. Now, during your turn for each card with ex-antibody in its traits, uh, in this card's Digivolution cards, you get a thousand DP. So, very nice here because let's say you're going from uh, two, three, four, five, and now six here, that is going to be an additional 4,000 DP, making you a 15k DP. You are pretty much on par with Omnimons if not beating over every single other Digimon out there in the game. So that's definitely fantastic. Plus, you might have other cards as well that might additionally boost its DP even higher than that. So for that, it is surprisingly really powerful. However, that's only in terms of DP. What about the second effect? Well, the second effect is when attacking once per turn, you can place one card with X antibody in its traits from your hand to the bottom of this Digimon Siege Evolution cost. So that potentially boost the DP of this as well, which is definitely fantastic. And you can then also delete up to two of your opponent's Digimon with play costs less than or equal to the number of this Digimon's Digivolution cards. So let's say you had two, three, four, and five, and then you just added another one. That's going to be five Digivolution cards underneath this Digimon's uh, Digivolutions. And as a result, you can delete up to two of your opponent's Digimon with a cost of five or less, which is definitely very powerful. And it's only gonna get more powerful every turn it gets to attack. So the longer this stays out on the board, the stronger it gets, which is uh, definitely something that your opponent has to watch out for. All the while, if you have this out in conjunction with your Alphamon, it's quite the deadly combo. And most of the time, to get rid of two level sixes is not an easy task. So yeah, this really supports the deck quite well. All right, so on to the Tamer cards. We're gonna be playing two copies here of Cool Boy. Cool Boy is absolutely amazing. It is one of the best cards out there supporting X antibody decks. We're also gonna be playing here Takumi as well. Just another great card preventing rookie rushes or at least slowing them down, uh, but also allowing you to maintain advantage as well every time you're digivolving, you get to draw a card. Uh, our main card we're playing here is going to be the Coda. I don't think we really need too many of it because it is a whopping four cost to play, but it is our memory setter. Plus on play, you also get to add X antibody as well. So that's just really nice there. But being a four cost is definitely going to be uh, something where I'm not willing to play too many of. Uh, we are going to be playing three copies of Kazu here. This supports uh, cyborgs and machines. We are playing a few in this deck. So this definitely adds more to that support and 
Tamers in particular are really searchable in this deck, so I'm just maximizing on as many as I can. That's actually like really good. We're also going to end things off here with Tai Kamiya. This card is great because you are playing a few cards that supplement or at least facilitate blocking, and uh, being able to use it in conjunction with this is definitely really nice as well. Now let's end things off with our option cards. I'm going to be playing two copies here of our X Antibody. It's just a free card to add on, and it really just supplements both Alphamon and uh, Dorogoromon as well uh, whenever it's needed. So I always keep this card ready in the hand and whenever I really need it to go off then I pretty much play it out. Uh, and the final two cards we're playing is Ultimate Flare. Ultimate Flare is just really amazing. DD Evolving 3, it's just following the theme of DD Evolving with Alphamon but DZ Evolving 3 is a huge deal and this is one of the most powerful cards out there alongside Gaia Force simply because you're not even triggering the um, deletion, the on deletion effects, you're instead just DZ Evolving which is so much more powerful than um, Gaia Force and arguably stronger than Chaos Degradation as well. So yeah, this card is definitely quite slept on, but that being said, this here is um, the Alphamon deck, so I do hope you guys enjoyed this. I feel like black decks haven't been out there too often, like you don't really see too many prominent black decks. Sure, there is Black War Greymon, but that's a combination of black and red, so I don't really count that as a proper black deck. In this case, having a pure black Alphamon deck is definitely fantastic. I know there is some um, other support as well for Alphamon, I believe in BT 11 or 12, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is uh, just pretty much saved up for a different deck, you know, you really don't need to mix it up with this one. This one kind of like functions on its own anyway, and I'm able to incorporate so many other cards from other sets into this. But yeah, this is definitely a fun deck, so I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. But with that being said, thanks for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.